Hello, how are you? I'm Betty Lascano, and as always, it's a pleasure to be with you showing you a new tutorial. Today, I am going to present to you the very first part of an exciting makeover. My model, who is a well-known television host, is here with me, and her name is Yasmin. I want her to tell you because what she tells me is something she hears frequently, but I also want you to hear it. She was pregnant and now she wants a change. So Yasmin, tell me how you felt during those nine months. Oh Betty, it's a change because you can't do anything with your hair. Let's remember those myths from moms and grandmothers that you can't dye your hair because it can harm you during pregnancy. So, well, the nine months without being able to do anything, you start to feel a little unattractive, like you say to yourself, this isn't really me. After so many changes you had been doing for me, and well, you feel really good. You need all of this to feel alive and beautiful. And I said, no, I definitely need another change, a haircut, a color change to absolutely revive now that I'm a mom. Yasmin. The truth is that many women come in very quickly after having a baby, once quarantine ends. Some wait until quarantine ends, others come the next week or even after 15 days to get some kind of change done. Everyone feels the same way you do. And from experience, when I was pregnant, I also felt like the ugliest woman in the world. I didn't enjoy my pregnancy because I was looking at myself, seeing myself as ugly. That's why I want you to stay tuned for this makeover. We're going to start with the haircut. This video will be all about the cut, but there will be a follow-up video where we'll do the color so you can see how Yasmin feels after a makeover. Shall we start, Yasmin? Let's start. Let me show you Yasmin. I want you to notice the length of her hair and also the color she has from mid-length to the ends. Remember that for a total of nine months, she did absolutely nothing to her hair. I am going to create the sections. To start with this haircut, we will make a section from ear to ear and at the lower part of the nape. We will prepare our first section at the middle of the ear. We are going to take all the hair we separated and mark the cut. I am going to cut about six centimeters of the length, straight at zero degrees. To carefully and accurately mark my precise cut, I go to one side and meticulously trim the excess tip if it didn't come out completely even. Remember, first cut in the exact center and then gradually move to the sides to ensure that the cut is completely and perfectly even. We lower our next section, comb it at zero degrees, take my first section from the center, use the previous guide as a reference, and cut it considering the previous guide as I mentioned, first the center and then the sides. I go under the next section and carefully do the same procedure as before, thoroughly and step by step. It is very important to mark the cut first in the center because this ensures that the hair will have more precise accuracy. This is because it is essential to ensure the desired outcome. Under my last section, I comb it at zero degrees and repeat the same previous procedure. This cut is extremely easy to do. It is very simple. What I'm doing right now is marking the cut. I want you to see that I'm cutting everything at zero degrees and I'm cutting it evenly. From here on, the haircut is going to start changing right now, so pay close attention carefully. It's important to check it's completely even. Remember, this is going to be the framework of our cut. Our 
Are you passionate about the world of beauty and want to learn how to do haircuts, makeup, coloring and many more techniques and explore new techniques and trends? I want to tell you that I created this channel with you specifically in mind so I invite you to subscribe and hit the bell to activate notifications so you don't miss a single video. Thank you for your support. To finish the back section of the cut, we are going to create a half moon shape exactly the way I am demonstrating clearly right now. I want you to see it clearly and we are going to lift all this hair methodically to a precise 180 degrees angle, ensuring every strand is aligned and then cut the excess ends with precision. By performing this specific procedure on the crown of the head, it will provide a significant amount of movement to the ends of the hair and as a result, I will achieve some light, subtle layers that will make the hair appear very dynamic and full of life. Next, in the following step, we are going to carefully lower this specific section and then proceed to texturize the ends using the scissors, just like you can see demonstrated here in this example. What I'm currently doing is carefully removing some of the weight from those layers of hair so that they can have more natural movement and flow more freely. Remember that the coloring I am going to do is a lighter coloring at the ends and I need to create that movement, which is why I am pointing this part of the hair. Now I am going to divide the back part in the center and take a section, bringing it to the shoulder. Notice how I carefully position my fingers, making sure they are aligned properly. I look for the shortest guide and then proceed to cut the excess ends, ensuring that the cut is even and precise. By doing this, I am effectively connecting the layers together, joining them so that the cut doesn't look disconnected and seamlessly integrated. This way, my model will be able to style her hair in a way that is both downwards or style the layers in both ways upwards. I want you to carefully and closely observe how the hair looks from the back. Notice the way it has movement and the different distinct and unique layers are very low. For those people who say they just want some layers at the ends, this cut is really absolutely ideal for you. Now we move to the side and I'm going to do a half moon. I will take a guide just above the ear and then very carefully and precisely make this section. I'm going to carefully take a small section of hair from the back of the head which will help me seamlessly connect the back portion with the... To make the cut diagonally, I carefully place my fingers at an angle ensuring that the knife slices through the material in. This is important as there are people telling me, Betty, I get it in elevation degrees. I want you to observe these techniques in detail. Notice very carefully how I position my fingers, the precise lift I do with the hair and exactly how I place the tip of the scissors to cut the front part. It is very important to properly connect the front part with the back part and in this particular cut it is also extremely important that the front part is significantly shorter than the back. Once the cut is done, I will carefully take all the hair and lift it to 180 degrees or lift it upwards and we will gently cut the excess ends precisely. On the next side, we do the same procedure as before, just like we did previously. To finish, I very carefully take the bangs, join both sides, very gently lift it to 180 degrees and carefully and precisely cut the excess ends. I just want you to notice that I'm scarcely cutting the hair. It's already very even and that's why when I lift it, there are very few ends left over. Once the bangs are cut at 180 degrees, I will carefully and precisely comb all the hair forward. I am going to start by carefully and meticulously cutting the bangs and then move to the sides to thoroughly check that there are no excess ends. It's important to carefully check the final finish of the cut. If there are any leftover ends, they need to be thoroughly removed.
Once my entire cut is carefully, precisely, and accurately marked, I will very thoroughly take the razor and texturize from mid-length to ends. With this, I'm going to carefully and thoroughly remove weight from mid-length to ends and make my cut lighter. There are people who are definitely afraid to use the razor. I recommend that they use it only on thick and healthy hair, hair that is not severely dehydrated, because if their hair is severely dehydrated or very porous, they run a significant risk of splitting ends with such a razor. You have to be very careful, but honestly, I will confess something important to you. This type of cut, if you finish it with an excellent razor, gives you an incredibly beautiful and light finish. Especially when you're going for those colorings like what I want for Jasmine. We go to the back and once again carefully repeat the same thorough procedure with the razor. Notice that I am carefully and precisely using the razor down to the height of the layers. And I am not using it on the lower part, only on the top part to create that feathered look that looks so very nice indeed in this type of cut. To finish, we are going to apply Yenvir Liquid Sculpting. This hydrating gel that leaves no residue, contains no alcohol, and allows you to create hairstyles or blow dries with a lot of movement without leaving the hair weighed down. Remember that it is extremely important that when you blow dry, create waves, or style the hair, it should look like it has natural movement. Hair that looks too static gives the impression of being dirty and unkempt and unhealthy. Steffi is definitely going to do a light makeup on Jasmine. Remember, there is an upcoming video. I invite you to stay tuned and see the final result with coloring on this beautiful cut. This is the final result of my model, as you can clearly see. Indeed, the cut has a significant amount of movement. I did this type of cut because I prepared the hair meticulously for the upcoming coloring process that you will see in the next video. This preparation is crucial, so you can't miss it to see how Jasmine will look with her new, vibrant coloring. So if you are pregnant or have just had a baby, it is the perfect time right now during this wonderful phase of your life to get a makeover. Thank you family for joining me in this video tutorial. Remember you can participate in makeovers by sending an email to Betty Lascano at Publicidad Mail. And you could be the next winner. I send you a big hug and many blessings. And good luck to you all in your endeavors. See you in the next video.